What's up everyone? So uh, today is the start of a new breeding project I want to share with all of you. I'm excited for these. As you can see I'm going to try and breed another species of tiger moth. And it's a species from Asia called the Aloha Lactinea. And Aloha Lactinea is... Well, look them up on Google. They're absolutely beautiful. The, it's a species of tiger moth from Asia. And the adults, they, um, they are mainly white. But they have a beautiful uh, red stripe on the, on the upper side of their forewing and their thorax. And they have a really nice colored abdomen. So uh, there's no way I can explain it unless you look them up yourself on the internet. Or another option is you can just wait for me to breed these, of course. Uh, as you can see, I've given them a ridiculous amount of space, because, but I'm doing this on purpose because I really want this species to succeed. Um, I've been trying to get it for a while, but uh, it's not for sale quite often. And it's difficult to get because I believe that in some countries it even has a protected status. At least uh, I've heard from a friend in Japan that it's protected in Japan. So it's important to get them from a non-protected location too. But uh, yeah, these are captive bred livestock. It's trying to, ah, it's trying to eat my finger. What? It's biting me. Are you serious? My god, look, it's actually trying to chomp my hand. That's, uh, that's a sign that they're very hungry. And uh, the reason uh, they don't have any food right now is because they just arrived with the post. No, 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 not in this box, okay? In a, in a different one. But uh, they just arrived and without any food. So I'm going to go uh, out and get some nice fresh green leaves for them. Some dandelion, some bramble, and I'm sure they'll appreciate it. So uh, follow me for the Aloha Lactina, yeah? And let's see if I succeed. Alright, so I did give them some plants. Turns out that indeed they were very hungry. They've been eating like beasts since I fed them. Um, I fed them a mixture of dandelion and bramble. Turns out they are mostly ignoring the bramble uh, in favor of uh, dandelion. As you can see most of the caterpillars are on the dandelion leaf. Here, especially here. But the bramble seems mostly empty. But what is interesting is some of the caterpillars are eating their young bramble shoots. As you can see this one. Here eating some very young new bramble leaf and again here in this part of the of the stem we see another larva chewing on this new growing bud here and uh, I think this cannot be a coincidence this species must really like eating young leaf especially well if it comes to bramble it is um, I gave them a lot of space uh, maybe actually more space than they would require but I want to play it safe and make sure I succeed with the species so I'm giving them extra space, extra luxury because it's a species I really like I want to breed it for a long long time so I want to maximize my chances of producing as many pupa as I can now what's interesting is these larvae they are capable of scaling this plastic container and I do have a lid here which I, I can put on top but uh, truth is as long as you feed them, give them leaf they have no reason to climb out the caterpillars of most tiger moths they are rather ground dwelling they pre prefer to graze in the low vegetation around the ground and like the herbs and shrubs so um, there's little chance of them escaping if they are well fed of course 
despite that I do not plan to leave the lid off all the time but uh, at, at night I will close the box but uh, during the day I will leave it open so it can ventilate because the food plants of these moths they it contains a lot of water a lot of moisture especially dandelion it's like 90% water so it will become like a mushy mushy dirty soup if I don't leave it to dry like this and that's okay I really hope to produce some nice pupa of this species and film the adults because the colors of the adults are amazing <laughs>